Previously on McLeod's Daughters. We're getting married. <laughs> he asked me and I said yes. I'd say no. You're going to go now? Leave for good now? Yeah, well, there's no reason to put it off. I'm going to go pack. Every woman has a circle around them. Why? So big. And unless you're very sure about how she feels, you never break through that circle. Like this. Because if you're wrong, there's no second chances. I'm not out to get you. And if you think I am, then that shows how little you really know me. Yeah, maybe I never did. If you want this ugly, well, it just got ugly. Sam. Okay, cool. Carry on. You're right. You're right, on it, buddy. <laughs> Not bad, though. Oof. But I had a few lessons at school. Oh, what, you need lessons to bash each other's brains out? Well, actually, the object is to not get your brains beaten out. It's a gentleman's sport, Becky. Yeah, well. I'd like to go. Get away. Why? Because I'm a chick? Yep. Go! No! Give me that! I don't know what I need for, okay? The same way you know me. No, no, you've got to... Hey, you've got a couple of vulnerable areas. Yeah, different. let's just pretend I'm not a girl, huh? All right. Huh? Oh! Whew. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Oof. Man, it's not about you not being a boy, Becky. It's about you not being a gentleman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. Van Amstel. Yeah? Yeah, Peter Johnson. Australian bloodlines. Uh, we had an appointment. There you go. They would have been with my father. All oh, right, is he around? His funeral was yesterday. I'm sorry. I'm based in the city now, I'll be selling the property and the horses. Stefan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Claire mentioned you a few times. Claire? Yeah, <laughs> she said that you uh, you wanted to marry her in kindy. Claire McLeod. You seem to know her very well. Yeah, we were um, little partners for a while. You did tell me to put the restaurant for seven? Yeah, I'm done here. So, what's Claire doing with herself these days? Oh, she's gone into business with Alex Ryan. You probably remember him as well. Oh, yeah, I remember Alex. He's the one who put me in this thing. Let's go. I bumped into Peter Johnson yesterday and, well, we had a chat and I'm... Well, you just changed your mind. There's no law against it. Uh. Listen, Jerry, w whatever Peter Johnson's offering you will go 5% better, OK? Absolutely. It's not about the money. You and Harry shafted anyone lately? What? That's the second contract we've lost in two days. What, you reckon that's my fault? Well, he's obviously got a problem with you. <sighs> Jerry's always got a problem with somebody, Claire. <sighs> Where'd 
you going out with his daughter? Niece. Before you asked, she dumped me, right? Well, who else have you been sleeping with lately? Oh, I can give you Thursday night, but you have to make a reservation. Get out. Ugh. All right, Saturday morning. And I'll throw in a free set of steak knives. How's yeah, that? Yeah, but no money-back guarantee for you, mate. Well, we've got a two-for-one offer at the moment. I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot barge pole. But wait, there's more. Je vous answer it, Cara. Hey, Alberto! Hey! Jody, it's your mum. You left a couple of things here, darling, and I, and I thought you might be needing them. Jody. Can you give me a ring, please, darling? Is this machine working? <laughs> she misses you. I know. She wants to know what you've been doing. Oh, <laughs> I doubt that. I'm just not ready to be reminded about all that mustering, crutching, poop shoveling stuff yet. Mm. Call her. I will. You know, tennis is pretty good exercise and hardly anyone ever gets hurt. Don't fancy the little white skirts myself, Meg. It's Jodie's. Thought she might want him. Here comes Stud Muffin. I'll get a little time. Thank you. Meg? Frank! Still okay for this evening? Yes. Yes, I'm in town anyway, as you can see. Yeah. Just a quick drink now? Yeah. I'll see, see you. Here. Here. Do you wash Mrs. Harris, please? Don't forget the massage. And just fill up the urn while you can find a magazine for Mrs. Coates. Uh, Tanya's hair and nails, can I help you? Monday at ten. Yep. Great. I'll see you then. Bye. Mum. I had to come into town for a couple of things, so I thought. Oh, that's great. I thought maybe at lunchtime we could have a chat. Look, I'll get five minutes if I'm lucky. Or maybe during your tea break. Mum, I've got like seventeen things to do already. So. I'll... Would you like an appointment? Yes, I would. Uh, we're fully booked. Three o'clock, Sue? Fine. But how? Mrs. Baxter always cancels. Well, thank you. Doesn't pay to put off some things for too long. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. Okay, just want to tap it, all right? Because it's about timing. So it's starting close. Save your energy for the real thing, all right? Go. Yeah? When do we get to do the real thing? Well, I thought we should get to know each other a bit better first. Like, oh. Okay, all right, all right. It's just you got to learn to walk before you can run, okay? Hang on, hang on. Try again. That's it. So why boxing? Everybody needs a hobby. Sure. Who's next? Race Haley. <laughs> Crazy old kid. Hey, it's a contract. Beggars can't be choosers. Morning, Alex. Right. Right. Been able to talk during the rounds about you. Yeah. All good, I hope. Wouldn't be doing the rounds if it was good, would it? Hmm. Yeah, I figured the old Bush Telegraph was working overtime. Something about a bingo back in 92. 92? It's causing a real buzz. Even had Peter Johnson in asking how long police records are kept. 92 is well before my time, but uh, if I should know something. It's nothing to know, Frank. I think nobody's got any reason to get excited, have they? I'll see you then. Right What'd you get up to in 92? Nothing. Then what's Peter talking about? That mongrel saying to stir up trouble. You should know that better than anyone else, Claire. Talk to you. Alex! Alex! Come on, 
Mind of a body. Brains of a ball. Alex, get it, cut it out! Oh, it's all the time, alright? So chin down, arms up, elbows in. You gotta watch me, you gotta see me coming. <laughs> Madonna's probably in labor right now. It's not as if it's a first. Yeah, but it's the first time since I've owned her. A couple of hours, you said. You're the one who stopped to look at all the trades, then. <laughs> Yeah, but it's an organic fair, Nick. I'm an organic farmer. Uh, well, at least we've got the combine organised. Now we can paint the wheat. Wasn't a total waste of time. Just a waste of money. Oh, I'd call it a smart investment. 50,000 earthworms? Yeah, earthworms are great for aerating the soil. Boldly going where no rotary has gone before, huh? Yeah, you just let these little guys do it for you. It's thinking farming, Nick. Do you reckon she's going to make it? No worries. Hello, Meg. Oh, Alberto, how are you? I'm well. You found Jody? At work, yeah. You got a job too? See, si, we're both busy. Busy and settled. Good to see. We make money. That's a good idea. Young couple needs an SD. We make money and then we travel. Travel where exactly? Jody thinks about it a lot. We will meet my family, I hope, and then... Uh, who knows? It is Jody's dream to see the world. <whistles> Sorry, Meg. Ciao for now. Ciao. Peter Johnson could have been seriously hurt. He gave as good as he got. Just go see a doctor. What, is that it? It's not a police matter. Yet. Sort it out. Just don't try knocking anyone else's block off. I won't. Not when you're looking anyway. We could sue you. Slander for starters. Nice to see you too. And you think I'm going to let you stuff up everything that Alex and I have worked for? What about what we work for, Claire? You and me. By the way. Yeah, last time you were here, you left this under the pillow. Do you leave things under Alex's pillow as well? Is that what this is all about? Look, this business is all I've got left, and I'm not going to let Alex get that too. Alex and I are mates. Now, I don't know what you've been telling people about him, but I know it's a pack of lies. All right, so he hasn't told you yet, then. And you two being such close mates. Told me what? You remember Stefan Van Amstel? He was in a car accident. Now he's in a wheelchair. 92. He says that Alex is responsible. <laughs> it's garbage. Claire. <sighs> Van Amstel's back in town. Ask him. Oi! Oi! <laughs> Claire McLeod. <laughs> Stuffin Van Amstel. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Sorry to hear about your dad. It's all right. Thanks. So you got the full sale sign up, hey? Yeah, well, I never did see myself as farming material, even before this. Now, you always want to be a dentist, didn't you? you? Used to say that there was golden, golden teeth. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> well, not much gold these days, but I'm doing all right. Yeah? How's the horse training business? Money in that? Oh, it was. Until someone started spreading rumours about my business partner, Alex Ryan. There's nothing in it, but... It can't be. So, uh, what happened then? Well... 
Alex had some row with his girlfriend that night he saw us together at the pub. Picked a fight. I left. It was wet then. Only reason I had the car. And I remember the lights coming up behind me. Alex in his old ute. He followed me. Sat right on my bumper. I thought he was just trying to put the wind up me, you know? I floored it. He stayed with me, 80, 90 k's. Then I hit a bend. Had to jam on the brakes. And there was this thump from behind. Well, turned upside down and went black. Yeah, well, the cops would have known. You know, they would have laid charges. Harry Ryan turned up while I was still out to it with a hundred grand to keep us all quiet. You sure he didn't blow a tire or Claire something? Claire was Alex. That night, just for a while, he wanted to kill me. He damn near did. He damn near did. Needed a service. Yeah, and this heap of junk doesn't. I think this might have been the fan belt. Damn it. Nick, I really have to get back to Madonna. You're not wearing any pantyhose by any chance. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I was going to put on my mini with the black fishnets, but hey. Stockings. Even better. Why do you have a pair of stockings in your glove box? Looks fan belt. You know, they're gonna have to do something about the facilities in this place if you're gonna be a regular visitor. I have seen a urinal before. Yeah, I know, but I'm just worried I'm gonna get crushed in a stampede when word gets out. You know, Becky Howard naked in men's showers. Maybe I should sell tickets. Who have you been talking to? So? No, dumb question. Get a few blokes pissed and their brains are in their jocks. Becky, yeah. No, I know who I am and I know where I fit in. I'm with Brick and, and the rest of you, you can all just back off permanently. No, wait, you, you think I'm helping you? No, so... I think that you're a guy. Just... just another guy. Didn't that bloke say they'd be fine in there for a couple of days? Well, we're not going to be here that long, are we? I hope Madonna can keep her knees together. <sighs> oh, you want me to get the other one? Yeah, thanks. So how did Angela's stockings end up in your glove box? You said they were Angela's. Well, you were kind of serious with her, and this is your serious girl and ute, not your hot new date ute. And now you're in my serious ute, Tess. And it was someone you were seeing before we went to that clearing sale last month. How do you know that? Catalogue's on top. <sighs> I went out with other girls before Angela, you know. And you didn't have anyone to take to the Miss Gun Gallon Ball, which means it was someone you were seeing between April and August. Ergo, stockings are Angela's. Moral of the story, if you drive a bomb, go out with tall women. You late? What'd the doctor say? Nothing broken. Hope the same can't be said for Peter. He's fine, actually. And so is Stefan Van Amstel. He's back for his dad's funeral. We had a bit of a chat. So now you've heard the whole story, huh? I've heard the story from everyone but you, Alex. Race Haley probably thinks we don't want his business either. I suppose that's my fault. Girlfriend, Nicole. 
She's back in Wagga. So why don't you ever talk about her? You never asked me. What difference does it make anyway? Oh, that is such a guy thing to say. Beck, we were just having a good time together. You know, if I said the wrong thing or if I went too far... No, it's okay. It's... I spend all my time with a bunch of hairy, sweaty blokes at Kalani. Now, all I wanted was a friend who doesn't... smell like a horse. Yeah, well, I work with horses. Yeah, you don't smell like a horse, Beck. Trust me. So, can we give another try? Being mates? No strings. Chip. <laughs> Madonna's gonna be fine, Tess. She's had heaps of practice. Mm. No, it's funny, I never pictured Angela as the cheap underwear type. We're going to need some more water. I broke up with Angela months before that clearing sale. Yeah, but you didn't move straight on to someone else. How do you know? Because people don't. Why don't they? Because they need time to adjust, to uh, get things into perspective, analyse what went wrong. Crunch the numbers, do a pie chart, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a time of reflection. It stops them making the same mistake again. Well, who said Angela was a mistake? Well, she must have been, otherwise you two would still be together. Wouldn't you? We've got the wrong day or something. It's starting to think I had. We've got delayed in town. Yeah, it's uh, been a busy morning for both of you, by the look of it. But now that we're all here... Yeah, why are we all here, Grace? Well, the thing is, Claire, there's, uh, there's been a bit of talk. Yeah, we know. Well, a man would be a fool not to consider his options, wouldn't he? Anybody can shoot their mouth off to make the competition look bad, Grace. Look, Alex, I don't have to make it look bad, mate. You do a top job of that all by yourself. Yeah, I reckon you boys are right. What we need to settle this matter is to see some action. What are you talking about? Well, how about a... Bit of a race. A race? Yeah. You against uh, Peter Johnson. I train stock horses, not race horses. Chicken, are you? Winner gets your business? Of course. Sounds fair enough. Alex! What about you? You game enough to put your money with your busted up mouth? <laughs> yeah. This is a stupid idea. Look, Peter's done us a lot of damage, aren't right? This is our chance to make good. Make good? We'll get even. Okie dokie. Just the one gate in. You ride straight out 2K to the old trough, loop around again. First one back gets my business. Is all that timber standing? Ah, oh, you might have to jump the odd log or three. <laughs> Steeple chain. A few fallen logs. It's no big deal to you. <laughs> you do it. You're the trainer, Claire. Race wants to see you ride, not me. Fish cake. So, you want to put 50 bucks on your girl just to make it interesting? Money in the bank, Race. Six weeks ago. Think about it. We knew we'd be here, doing this, feeling what we're feeling. I'm not feeling anything. This is yours, by the way. You ready? So how well do you really know Alex? Set. Well, then how many other secrets has he been keeping from you? You're pretty good at keeping secrets yourself, Peter. Go! <laughs>
a, a track through the bush on the east boundary. Take one night off the muster, I guess. With all the cool air in your lungs and the stars above. And the smell of cattle. I saw our Bert on the road game. Hey, it's not a career. It's just money. We want to travel. Yeah, if we could just talk about that. No, Mum, there's nothing to say, OK? We're going. you miss it, Jody. Riding out into the clean, open spaces every day. How did you know, Mum? You've never even been away. There's a bit of damage here. Yeah, I know. Never mind. Nothing that can't be fixed. Shouldn't they be back by now? Yeah, any tick of the clock. So, how's your dad keeping these days, anyhow? Same as ever, Race. Same as ever. Yeah. Must be nice to have a father with money, eh? Where's Claire? I don't know. I lost sight of her in the trees. Oh, she was in front. <coughs> she was well in front. She must have struck some trouble. Mm -hmm. Eagle had a stop, fell off. You never fall off, Claire. Well, I fell off this time. You OK? No, I'm not OK, actually. Eagle's not OK. I've had enough. Eagle's had enough. Do you hear me, Alex? I've had enough! Claire, what happened? She fell off, all right? Well, you OK? Just leave it out, mate. All right? Just stay out of my life. Here's my contract, Race. Look, I can pick up your horses tomorrow. That's convenient. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, matey. Winner take all. That was the deal. No hard feelings, eh, Alex? Hey. I told you. One little fall and you're acting like the end of the world. This isn't about one little fall, Alex, and you know it. You're a better rider than that, Claire. What are you saying? Did you throw that race on purpose? What? Well, you didn't want to bar it, but Peter got near you and that was it, wasn't it? You're just as bad as him. Use your friends. Get your own way. Don't you love me with that lying bastard, right? Who's not telling me the truth about Stefan's accident? You can't even talk to me about it, let alone tell me the truth. You don't know anything. If you can't trust me, Alex, how can I trust you? And if I can't trust you, then what future do we have? I don't think there's much point. Never give up on yourself, that's what my mother always says. Jody, face back. Me? Steep learning curve today. Uh... Jody, I'm your mum, I worry. Well, you don't have to, everything's fine. But I know it seems great now, but where are you going to be in ten years' time? Well, Mum, there is a big exciting world out there. Rome, Paris, New York. But... So you see it. And what? You're, no job, no skills, no home. At least I'll have something to remember. You know, at least I won't spend the rest of my life stuck on that farm, too scared to take any risks. It's about finding a balance, Jodie. 
No, Mum, it's about you letting me live my life the way that I want, including making my own mistakes. No, poor little things. This will keep them going until we get home. Still don't have a fan belt. Yes, we do. You're wearing it. My top? We're going to cut it into a band, pull her over. It's Bob's your uncle. Well, why can't we use your shirt? Anyway, they're your worms. Wonder what colour that calf will be. That is emotional black male. No! It'd be painless. Five months since I broke up with Angela. Five months. Two weeks and four days to fix that. Who's counting? Reckon I'd be over him. Possibly. But you're definitely over Alex. Alex who? There's only one way to find out. Problem. Sprung the shoe. Claire, what, uh, what Peter told you about <clears throat> me and Stefan, it's all true. Come on, give us a hand. Get to fix it before he stands on it. That was not long after Nick had his radio accident. I mean, you know, no excuses, oh. but it was a tough time. You know, Nick never seemed to be getting any better, and Mum was practically living at the hospital, and Dad, well, you know, he kept looking at me like I suddenly stepped in. Anyway, I met Claudia. Yeah, I remember. You know, and she made me feel like maybe I wasn't a total waste of space. Then old Stefan got in on the act, and I remember seeing them at the pub, and the way they laughed together. And I just, just remember seeing Red, you know, and I just wanted to smack his head in or <sighs> then I followed his car. Ran him off the road. Tried to get him out, but you know the car was totally mangled and I mean I thought he was dead clear. Well after that well I just didn't think I went over and found dad. Arena's checkbook, eh? What happened to Claudia? Never saw her again. Last thing I heard, she'd left the district. I thought I'd lost everything. Well, I'm not Claudia, Alex. Or Stefan. Good boy. Yeah, I know. This isn't something I can fix. Has Stefan been at you for another payout? I just think we could have done more. I want to do more now, Dad. Not with my money, you know. What we did was wrong. Is that right? And what do you think would have happened to you if I hadn't done it? I mean, did he ever wonder what it was like for Stefan's dad, knowing his son was going to spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair? Oh, I know exactly what he felt like. I had a son all smashed up in hospital too. And I know how he felt about the person who put him there. You had a partner too, Dad. It's not to bail you out, son. 
Letting you stuff up your own life wasn't going to help anyone, was it? That's well and good, but I'm the one that's living with this. We're all living with it, Alex. What happened to Stefan and to Nick? It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Does this make us parents? Oh, grandparents or something. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to be a grandparent. Or even a parent, or, uh, even... It's a big step. Yeah. Well, it's getting late. I should be getting home. You're a glutton for punishment. I won't be in town for a while. Why is it so important to you, really? Why do you do it? Uh, peace of mind, I guess. Knowing that if I walk into a dark alley, I can walk out again. Pretty good reason. No, I don't see any boxing in your future. What do you see? I see a good-looking bloke sweeping you off your feet. No, Brick. I meant Brick. Didn't sound like it. Beck, I thought we'd sorted this no, out. No, men and me, this is how it goes. No, Beck, it, it can be cool. No, we can't just be friends because I can't trust people. You know that dark alley? Well, I've already been down there. All right. Then let me help you. Just mates, like we said. There's good guys out there, Beck. Just gotta learn to pick them. Mates, show me. What happened? What I did? I'm sorry. You almost slept it too late. I'm going home tonight. I'll be sending you a check. I'm, I'm just waiting on some money to clear. How much? <laughs> the 200 grand. What the court deducted from the compensation payout because it was an accident? How much more time do you think that's going to buy? Another 10 years? There's no strings attached there, Stefan. I'm, I'm going to go to the police as soon as I've finished here. I don't need your money, Alex. I've done well for myself, all things considered. You remember Claudia, don't you? Hello, Alex. Claudia? <laughs> Been a long time. Ten years. Darling, we really should get going. Send me your money if it helps. But I wouldn't bother with the police. In the end, we all get what we deserve. Meg? Meg, you look bellissima. Everything you see comes out of one of Tanya's bottles. <laughs> to find the gold, you wash away the clay. <laughs> um, Jody and I had a chat. Ah. It's okay. I, um, I know the rules. I'll keep my distance. Rules? 
In Italy, at least, we break them more than we keep them. Well, it won't be for long, anyway, so you'll be racing off around the world. Meg, it is for Jody I go. It is for Jody I do this. And if this is what I must do for the rest of my life, to make her smile, then I will do it gladly. You understand this, I think. Till next time. Ciao. Ciao. Meg, um, I wasn't expecting you. Um, you did say casual. Yeah, I did. You look great. Thank you. Would you do something for me? Have you ever decided to get really dressed up? Warn me, okay? <laughs> okay. Would you like a drink? Oh, you took a big risk, Alex. What if Stefan goes to the cops? Well, it'll be everything that should have happened ten years ago, Claire. Criminal charges. Maybe even jail. Harry will love that. Give us another one. Dad will have plenty else to scream about when he finds out how he came up with the 200 grand. How did you come up with that? I thought everything was in Harry's name. Well, there's one thing that isn't. The chopper. Bummer. It's the way the cookie crumbled. Well, I guess all we have to do now is try and get our business back on its feet again. Now, I've been thinking. How about you write Brave Jane the Stockman's Challenge at the show this year? I don't know if, uh, cross-country's my thing. Claire, you and that, and every horseman from here to Timbuktu will be sending us horses to train. Better than not one get a look in. <laughs> <laughs>